This is the KRQE News 13 Sports Desk with Van Tate. Welcome to the Sports Desk. I'm Jared Chester filling in for Van Tate. And tonight we start in the Octagon as it is fight week for Albuquerque train Ray Borg. Borg is set to take on Ricky Simon this Wednesday in what will be the UFC's second live event since the pandemic put a halt on professional sports. Borg is running a two-fight winning streak coming in after a victory in Rio Rancho back in February. This pandemic has definitely thrown every fighter in the UFC for a loop, but Borg says he's prepared for anything as he's seen seven fights fall through since 2017. That's one thing that people don't understand in this sport is, you know, this the UFC, MMA in general is the most unpredictable sport. You know, it's kind of one of those things that you kind of try to prepare yourself for. And I try to tell like younger fighters coming up to prepare yourself for is like, hey, fights are going to fall through. So, you know, it's something I've kind of been always like, I guess you could say prepared for. Borg will look for a third straight victory in Jacksonville, taking on Ricky Simon in a bantamweight bout. Borg has bounced around from flyweight and bantamweight, but believes that 125 pounds is where he really wants to be after, even after not making weight multiple times at flyweight. There's perks about being at 35. You know, obviously the weight cut, you know, I don't cut nearly as much weight as what I would at 25, but ultimately I feel the most comfortable at 125. So you know, I missed weight a few times in the past at 25. You know, it's kind of a long shot, but uh, we have some ideas on how we can ask pretty much permission to go back down to 25. Once again, Borg will fight on Wednesday. Main card bouts start at 7 p.m on ESPN+. Plus. Now let's hit the links as former UNM standout and now professional golfer Sean Carlin is back on the links in tournament play. Carlin just wrapped up a practice round today and is set to compete in the Scottsdale Open, which will run tomorrow through Thursday. This tournament is the first real big event since the start of the pandemic, and Carlin made the decision to get his career back in motion by moving down to Phoenix to prepare. I just, it's like hard practicing in a net. I mean, it's just so different. I knew that Phoenix was so close and I have places to stay with friends and stuff here. So I made the decision to come over about three weeks ago, play a couple of tune up events and then get ready for this one and then make my way back over to Albuquerque once everything kind of settled in. $20,000 is the prize for winning the Scottsdale Open and another former Lobo Sam Saunders will compete alongside him. But talk about a whirlwind first year professional golfer Sean Carlin. As a year ago yesterday, he graduated from UNM. If you're coming out of college after a good year, you expect like, oh, I'm going to take this by storm, you know, and you're very wrong. Like it takes a little bit because you're traveling more, playing for money, and it just makes a big difference. I, I was getting beat down pretty good early. So like you start gradually coming back up and then you get hit with this and it's just like, I mean, what do you do? It's just like a crazy wild ride right now. And it's like you don't have any Q school. So the earliest realistically that you can get out on the PGA Tour now is 2023. This pandemic has thrown a wrench in Carlin's charge at the PGA Tour, but he is staying positive as he has a fourth place finish this season and feels that his time away from the sport has made him stronger mentally. That time away from everything and kind of looking at everything from a different perspective, starting to appreciate everything that you don't have anymore, like being able to go practice instead of looking at it as like a drag almost like, oh, I don't want to go practice. Like I, when I got out here, like you got to pull me away from the course right now. You know, I think it's mentally refreshed. We'll keep you updated on him moving forward, but now to the gridiron. As Lobo Football picked up another commitment to the class of 2021 today, wide receiver Keontae Laner. Laner received multiple offers, including Arizona State, but the 6.1 receiver decided on UNM and now marks commit number 10 to a stacked 2021 class. Yep, UNM has been on a tear this offseason as this Long Beach Poly product is a huge get as he racked up nearly 440 reception yards and seven touchdowns this past season as a junior. And sticking with football, New Mexico State just announced today that they will host Abilene Christian in 2024. Yep, the Aggies and Wildcats will meet on November 24th in Cruces. And as of now, NMSU has a slate of 2024 games that includes, of course, UNM and UTEP, but also Abilene, Hawaii, and Texas A&M. And that'll do it for this edition of the Sports Desk. So until next time, good evening, good sports, and good night.